Hi, I'm Bob Wiatrowski, and welcome to our fish and coral section. Selecting the fish and corals is one of the most important and fun things you could do to have a successful reef aquarium. Don't overcrowd your tank. A good estimate is one inch of fish per gallon. So, for example, a 50 gallon tank should only have about 50 inches of fish. Estimate the fish from the nose to the tail. If your fish are about two and a half inches, that is 20 fish for the maximum total you should put in the tank. The longer and wider the fish, the more it taxes the biological filter of the tank. One lionfish creates far more waste than four damsels of equal length. So one inch per gallon is a general guideline and not a hard rule and must be used with common sense. Don't commit the fatal sin of one more fish. Have a maximum number when you start and don't go over it. Don't forget your fish will grow, but this is usually offset by natural mortality. Take your time adding fish. Don't be in a rush, for this allows for the good bacteria in your tank to build up. If you put too many fish in the aquarium too soon, the system may not be able to handle it. And you could have a crash, which would wipe out everything. Ask to see the fish eating before you buy. Check their color and their behavior. The Reef Aquarium DVD has its own classification system that we have developed just for you. These categories are based on my and the producer's opinions, backed by 20 years of reef keeping experience. There might be some people that disagree with us about certain fish and their temperament, but remember, not all fish are alike. One bat fish might not touch a coral or polyp, whereas his brother might act like an underground lawnmower and decimate your expensive underwater garden. Here is our system. Plan out the type of fish you want in your aquarium. Community fish that, for the most part, get along or aggressive. Fish that have to be strong enough to hold their own. Try not to mix community and aggressive fish. There are two other types of fish, crossover and semi-aggressive. These crossover fish will do well in either an aggressive or community tank. Crossover fish tend not to bother other fish and not to be bullied by aggressive fish. The fourth type of fish are semi-aggressive. These are fish that are not as territorial as aggressive fish, but can turn into a bully given the wrong set of circumstances. So we have four types of major personalities for fish. Aggressive, community, semi-aggressive, and crossover. Now for their habitat, we have three main types. Reef compatible, fish only, and cautious reef. Reef compatible means they won't eat your corals or invertebrates, whereas fish only will. The fish that we call cautious reef can be kept in a reef tank, but usually by more advanced reef keepers who know with the difficulties often associated with that particular type of fish. Make sure you get net caught fish and not fish that were caught with chemicals. This definitely gives you a healthier fish and helps preserve our reefs for the future. 